Hello everybody, my name is Ross and welcome to Legend of Keepers. I have no clue what this game is about. Steam page support, okay? Um, but I decided to, hey, take a look at it. Like, I have a few free games that I usually, like, get them from Keymailer. And usually I take a look at them because I'm curious. And uh, most of them, like, sometimes they're, like, really, really good games. That, like, I become addicted to it. Like, the for example, Iris and the Giant was, like, really good. I did an episode on it, but I decided to play more on my own. And, yeah, I'm really happy to do it. So, let's... We have a new save. Oh, speaking this game is multiplayer, I guess. But it's not. I took a screenshot by mistake. Not exactly what I pressed. But, hey! And, as usually, if you don't know, like, what I'm doing on this channel, usually I do Let's Plays, gameplay, other, other, other things like this, series of games. And welcome to the dungeon, oh, hi. Company. As you saw on the job posting, your main task is to protect the treasures we keep in our dungeons. We don't have much time to spend training you, so please keep up. Okay, but uh, to continue my idea, basically I do uh, game reviews and other stuff here, and usually I get like this free games or I get new games that I think they're interesting and I'm recording them, and either doing it for like in a serious mode to like get the game out there to like spread it and just like promote it basically, or I'm doing it for laughs and giggles if it's the case, because some of the games that are there and you can get them like pretty cheap or sometimes pretty expensive, they're like really bad. Because some of them they're like early access. Okay. Has worked hard to promise gold and glory to these idiotic adventurers. Okay. We have a little time before they get here, so let's place our traps and our employees. To this idiotic. Okay. Some of the people who are like defending the gold and stuff. Oh, looks like a strategy game, which is looking pretty interesting. So far, okay. So I have three people. I think this is my people. Okay, so I have, or do I need to put? No, I, I'm the opposite. I'm, I'm. These people are trying to invade, and I'm the one with the catapult. Looks like it. So let's confirm it. But let's read a little bit about it. Boom catapult area. Okay, three minus ten morale applies. Demoralize two minus ten morale on next turn five. Uh, 5x2, okay, so this is more like strategy game, it's very really interesting. Um, I like strategy games, don't get me wrong, I like some of them, some of them not, but I like them. Uh, 30 physical damage applies broken armor, okay, that or did seven like a uh, front, applies and rage 3 to all heroes, start of each 5, damage and morale yield increased by 30%, 10x3. Uh, fire, ice, armor, nature, uh, air, so th those are like the elements which is weak too. He's weak to like fire and ice. Does have like 40% more armor, I think, to like melee. Uh, it's resistant to air with 50%. Of course, air is gonna bash you in the head. And it's minus 15% to nature. Uh, this guy, nature, okay. Uh, 50 nature damage applies poison, applies, okay. It's okay. So, they have very individual here. They have like their own status or their own skills. Uh, physical damage, skill, dodge, defects of uh, first trap. That's interesting. Okay, let's confirm. We always leave let's an empty leave an empty room in a dungeon. You can use it to ambush. To ambush the yeah, I know you're talking. I'm talking. Okay, you can shut. Okay, Lord Ross, calm down. <laughs> okay, um. Uh, I you I talk to myself sometimes. Yes. Uh, you can use it to ambush the dungeons. Okay. So these are the adventurers, or these are the people who are defending? This is my favorite bit. Make sure you analyze each group of adventurers. Your employees are counting on you to prepare an effective strategy. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to combatants' attacks and resistances. They are key elements for victory. I love like how this chick is basically... I think she's an ogre, right? Like, eye in the middle. Or cyclop, if not. I don't know. I think Cyclops, because Ogre, Ogre is like Shrek, it's an Ogre, right? Uh, so these are the dudes, I guess, invading, and this is my forces. So I have Gromgar, which looks like a big tank. Uh, physical damage applies, bleeding to minus 10 life next turn, 5x2. Area minus 5, like moral. Okay. Does have like 35% armor. Uh, this guy doesn't have armor at all, so probably it's like. Uh, it's in the back, right? Because it's having like a long range thing. Um, yeah, it kind of—it kind of looks like they put you like tank, mid, and then uh, like back. 
Yeah, this guy has only 20% armor, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna confirm. So that's my catapult, okay. And then they're coming here, and now we're gonna fight my... Show no mercy, okay. Okay. The job also involves bullying these insignificant humans. <laughs> no reason work can't be fun. Okay. Of course, kill them or terrify them so much they'll flee like peasants, <laughs> as you see fit. Don't forget that in battle, evil, the fastest combatants act first. Usually, these episodes are really short. Forgot to mention. I'm usually trying to record 10 to 15 minutes. So they're having like the faster combatants, combatants on their team. So where are my two attacks? This one is like front and th there's like... Sh how do I do? Scare. Can I change to the other one? It's like... Select an attack. Scare. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Do I need to select who am I attacking or not? Damn, I am. Why am I so weak? This guy is really strong. I guess this is just like a scream of terror. So I'm just like trying to scare them or something? Because like, I'm not doing any damage. And they do a lot and they use attack and stuff. How do we change the attacks? I don't know. Oh, that guy flee? Okay, let's go. It's a way to beat them, I guess. Oh well. That was bound to happen. Okay, finally we have some guy that like resist attacks. And now it's his turn to attack. Okay, so now I can see all of all of them. Maybe I was not, not, not paying attention before, but now I attention before, but now I can see them. So um I have 80 physical damage, it regenerates the master's life by 20% of damage dealt the target is affected by bleeding. Okay, 25 air damage applies bleeding 3, uh, minus 15 life for next turn. It's not really good, but it's, I think it's doing some shit. And the other one is like minus 4 the morale. Okay, so if their morale goes to 0, they're gonna run. I'm gonna use a front and curious, uh, so I'm gonna... You always like select the f like select or attack the first one. This one attacks both of them. This one affects only the first one. Uh, I think a good strategy. Look at that. Look at that damage. I think a good strategy would be to like try to scare the first guy. Uh, but he's not losing enough. I could kill the, f the f like the first guy and then hmm, think. I could try to scare the shit out of the first guy and then I could uh, try to like damage them. I'm just gonna do just a brutal attack. Because I'm pretty tanky, so I think I'm gonna be able to tank this. Okay. Also, I think this one was like regenerating life. That one is gonna die if I do that. I think I'm gonna do that and just kill this one first. Yes. Easy kill is life. Yeah, this guy is having poison. The, the archer is pretty, pretty tough. I'm just gonna go with the physical attacks on this guys. Like, what's the point? My point is to kill them, right? So, I'm just gonna go for it because I'm so much powerful, so it's easy. I'm gonna use the second one on it, like uh, just to test it to see how it looks. Cause it's gonna die anyway. Nice. You did it! I knew from the start that you had potential. Know that here in Dungeons Company, we reward talent and value ambition. Shoot for the moon. Okay. And so your training ends. I'll see you again next year for your annual evaluation. Damn. If you do a good job in protecting our treasures, you'll get the promotion you deserve. <laughs> cool. I'm an employee. It's cool. <laughs> Is it? Maybe. Okay, so you can get the enchantress in time. You just need to, like level ten, and uh, this will be released during the early access. So this game, it's not like I got it, but it's not even early access. It's like close battle, if I'm not mistaken. I've, I think it's close beta, so maybe that's why. I have another few close beta games, but like some of them, they're like coming back to May and April, and I probably gonna, I'm gonna, i probably gonna take a look at them as well. Okay, so 
Monster, traps, spells, morale. Do I need to put some uh, points into this? Do I have any points? Info, I don't... It's not available, it's locked. Talents. Talents points are zero, so I have no talents. Okay. Heroes. Oh, Twitch, nice. Uh, I guess we could do some streaming, but... So, currently people... Like, no one asks, so I'm just like waiting. You could play a ranked in time, that's really cool. Uh, heroes, strong... Do you need to select those? It's like just hard, I see. Normal and easy. I'm gonna play on normal, I guess. I'm just gonna continue. I think I'm gonna do more f like five minutes of this and then we're gonna stop here. Uh, just because I'm curious like what's next. Because I did only the training uh, or tutorial if you want to call it like that. And yeah, I want to see a little bit more what this game is about. Because why not? So, circle saw, railing horn and a bone catapult. Applies Demoralize 2, okay. And Rage 3. Applies Bleeding. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna apply Bleeding to them. I wanna go a little bit faster this time, because I wanna do it. Uh, I have this dude, which is having zero armor. I wanna select a little bit of a tank to like resist a little more. And have some dude... Okay, and this dude. No, this guy here, this guy here, and this guy here. My monsters are gonna be weaker than these guys, but yeah. Oh, we're gonna have more monsters, that's cool. Oh, this guy is tanky. I didn't like this guy at all. I think I'm gonna go for this guy because it looks interesting. I know you, you're supposed to read a little bit on this, but like I said, I'm just going for it because I don't want to get too much into it, so that's why. <coughs> it's really nice though, like at the end you have this boss that's like... Like it's really powerful. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna use. Let's see. It's applying to only one, but it's a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, one of mine is down already. I think I'm gonna just focus the last one and try to kill it. I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna go do the morale one. Okay, that dude is tanky. I might lose the second one as well. Oh no, okay cool, that's good. I have another attack. I'm gonna attack them all. And then probably I'm gonna use a uh, clever cleaver. Clever, yes. I'm gonna use cleaver on this first one because it's already having bleeding on it, so it's pretty good. So far, pretty good. Let's attack the last one again. Pretty close to dying, so that's good. We're gonna cleaver this bad boy. And we're gonna lose now one guy, and I think the other guy next. Yep. Oh, oh, you have the ability to heal, god damn it. If I knew, I would just kill you. Ah, that's a bad move, because I didn't know that. Yeah, if I would read, <laughs> it would be smart, right, to do it. Show no mercy. That's pretty good. So they're gonna have like certain characters that like they boost their morale and stuff. They're gonna have pretty 
Uh, I'm assuming they're gonna have, like, in the future, pretty powerful dudes coming, you know, in to, like, take your shit. It's gonna be hard to defend from them. It's really, definitely really, really interesting. Okay, we're gonna focus that. Yeah, nice. Just, like, that was one shot. Jesus, so much damage. Cool. Nice, this is attacking all three of them. Probably gonna have, like, one dude in one point that's having, like, the ability to, like, revive other people. Wild Strike and Stunner. I'm gonna use the Wall Strike. I think they might not get to the final boss. Yeah, the Fireball on this dude, it's like OP, dude. What the hell? Look at that. Jesus, man. He's gonna die now, but like, that was totally worth it. And I think they're both dead. Yep. Cool. And yeah, you're gonna get stuff, and you're gonna get to pick, I guess. We're gonna take... Electrical, Mortar... Uh, I think we're gonna take some gold, just some plain old gold, because uh, that's good to start with. As you could probably guess, dying isn't the nicest experience. Okay. Fortunately, our Lich Doctor is here to resurrect your employees for free. <laughs> cool. However, being the Lich Doctor. To the land of the living after a Never can live with it, you know. Peace ...can be quite demotivating. If your employees die too often, they might suffer from burnout. Okay. Your employees' morale is therefore a matter to be taken seriously. So basically, the monsters I'm using, they're my employees. That's what they really mean. So I can just like resurrect them. Mutation? What the hell? I never read too much on that. And there's so much stuff to read. Like, yeah, it's it's worth it if you like. I don't know, like, go into it to do like a long episode. Then definitely. It's worth to play this game. Okay, I guess that's it. Merchant Trainer. Okay, but I'm gonna stop here. Uh, so, thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you want this game, like if you want to play it for yourself, if you're interested into it, you're gonna find the link in the description. You can take it from there. Um, I really enjoyed this game, like for a strategy game and it's how it's built, it's like really interesting. I'm really curious to see what's gonna be in early access and uh, what you're gonna do in the future with it, because now it's closed, but and it's having having much to offer. It's like a pretty good game and it got me like pretty curious and interested in. And definitely worth grinding. If you're new to this channel and you stumble upon this video, don't forget to like offer some support and like if you manage to stay until the end, like subscribe notification and all that good stuff as usual. And if you have anyone to share that might be interested, go ahead and do it. it. Helps me out a lot and thank you so much. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.